Hey everyone, I'm Josh. I'm going to start a new series of videos here uh, talking about all the signals that I've been looking at for the past year inside my Model 3 uh, and what they mean, what they tell me about the car. Um, but first, I wanted to start this with an intro to a brand new app that lets me look at these signals live um, and uh, compare that to something you already know. Scan My Tesla is an Android app. Uh, you're probably familiar with it if you follow Bjorn. Um, it shows you power and voltage and a number of common signals from your battery and your motor and several dozen other small signals. Um, I've worked with a developer for the past year uh, when we've searched for these signals and, and found them and slowly built up. Um, I've created a, a giant database uh, and, and he's built this app and really um, built it out for the Model 3. Now these apps need a OBD2 dongle, like this one, and uh, this is the OBD Link MX Plus. This particular one is uh, made to work with both Android and iOS. I highly recommend this one over some of the cheaper alternatives. Uh, not only does it work with everything, but it's just a higher quality. It's going to handle the extreme temperatures in the car, if you, especially if you leave it in there, and uh, some of the cheaper ones drop signals and have other issues. Um, so check uh, the description of the video. I'll have, leave a link on where to get this at maybe a little bit cheaper than you might normally find. So let's scan my Tesla. He's working hard right now on an iPhone version, but I'm going to switch to my iPhone with a new app that, if it's not out now, will be out in a few days, and show you what additional features it has that works for someone like me that's searching for a lot of hidden things in the car. Okay, I've switched out to my iPhone, uh, and I'm running Teslax, and it looks fairly similar. Uh, it has similar things uh, like, uh, you know, your motor power and torque, just like scan my Tesla. This is how it comes up by default. Um, for example, steering wheel angle, you can see why there on the app. What it's doing is uh, calibrating the min and max that it's seen, and, and this is uh, brand new. So. Um, you can even change the size of these displays if you wanted to. Now by default it just comes with these signals. Um, what I want to do is remove the ones that I don't care about. So I can easily... I don't have a front motor so I can delete that. Uh, same with the front torque. Um, and so okay, I know the speedometer right next to me that, and so I can add those and they disappear from there. Okay, so I'm going to add this thing called binary matrix, which lets me look at an entire message, uh, especially useful when I don't know what the signals are inside of it. And so I'm just going to pick this rear heat power. Now, I know what this is, but this took me months to figure out because Tesla changed the message and moved it around. So this thing here is a the entire uh, CAN message in binary, uh, and it doesn't look like much right now, right? Nothing's moving or changing. But let's just move the car a little bit, and you're seeing some things move in that message. And what that means to me is, uh, if I, especially if it wasn't in my driveway right now, I could see the number of digits that are moving, and it gives me a, an idea of where the signals are in there, and you know whether they're 8 bits or 12 bits, you just saw that one go below zero. And so when I saw all those go below zero, I realized, oh, it's a 15-bit, 16-bit number. Um, seeing those things live while you're just playing with the signals it's, makes a huge difference. Um, and help me figure out uh, some of the sub-messages in there, which were uh, power limits and, and uh, waste heat and so forth. But I'll show you some more of the cool features in this app. Uh, first of all, you have presets. So you can go for each of the cars, uh, or just blank, um, and quickly switch between cars in there. Um, over here is a signal list. Well, this is the entire list of all the signals that it has loaded right now. Um, and actually, 
you can search for something and um, let's see what we what we find here uh, the kind of the cool thing in here is you can go into a signal and see all the details and see your lifetime minimum maximum and everything for each signal uh, in here it's it's pretty sweet um, you can actually modify the signals from in there too uh, what's this open file thing well I'm on my iCloud drive right now and there's two awesome features here, and the biggest one is that I can load in my database DBC files uh, of all of the messages I have ever found. Uh, as I update them, I can immediately update the app. I don't have to wait for the app to update. Uh, and also, if I have a smaller one where there's some signals that I want to test, I can overwrite all the data or just merge it with the app, and it reads that database file and says how many signals it brought in. And now I can start working with those other signals that never came with the app, but something that I'm personally looking at. Actually, you could actually load in a DVC file for a whole different vehicle. And <laughs> this app is, is, becomes useful for anything, not just a Tesla. There's one more really cool thing here. These are log files, and it'll actually play back log files that you've recorded in the past. And uh, you even have this little scrolly thing here, and this is this is when I, uh, I'm obviously not driving with 200 kilowatts right now in the middle of my driveway. Uh, it's really cool. You can play back things. Can't record yet. Hopefully, he adds that eventually. Uh, but you can fig you can convert cord recordings from Scan My Tesla, for example. A couple more cool little things about this. It works horizontally. You might want a whole bunch of signals in there. You can mount this however you want. Hint, hint. <laughs> and we can flip the display. Why would you do that? Well, if you got a piece of reflective film there, you could make your own HUD heads up display. So I hope you can see how these apps are super helpful in understanding your car and what it's doing. Uh, looking at certainly a lot more information than Tesla gives you on the display uh, and super useful for me that I had to always pull things into my computer and look at them in graphs but to see things live um, and so I hope to have a couple more videos uh, diving into some of these things please hit subscribe um, and, and come back and, and watch some of them but also uh, leave a, a note in the comments of anything you're wondering about any questions something you want me to look at like I said I'm gonna look at battery temperatures and uh, maybe some of these different power things, and maybe I'll go into the battery um, and go through some of the many messages in there um, at some point. Let me know what you want to see. I almost forgot one more big feature. iPad support. <laughs> Who needs the display, right? So check this app out. Hopefully it's out in the App Store in a, now, if not in a couple of days. And subscribe and, and come back and have a look at some of the more in-depth videos I'll talk about some of the signals maybe as we drive around. Thanks a lot.